got your costume. It's all here. Seriously, come on. Can someone please be excited that it's Halloween? It sounds silly, but I think it's always fun to play the floozy at the party. <laughs> so I, I, I like being like the saucy one at the party. I also, we, it's really fun when there's um, like the Halloween episode, the, the set was just decorated so amazing. Everything was just so over the top. You know, it was like Party City just vomited all over our set. And I love Halloween and decorations and so, that was one of the more fun things. And like, they actually had bobbing for apples and you know, all the extras and costumes. So that's, that's really fun. Oh, my Halloween. Um, let's see, yeah, just ha went to a Halloween house party and dressed up as a giant Christmas present. And so I walked around in a big box all night. <laughs> it was really fun. No vampire teeth for me, no. No, I went Christmas this year. <laughs> Thank you for staying so late. Did you get the Gilbert watch? She claims it's packed away in her parents' things. I can get it. Good. We're gonna need it. Are you sure? Five bodies all drained of blood. I'm certain. They've come back. Yeah, and this is something unbeknownst to Caroline that, that, um, that her mother, you know, knows about vampires and that they exist and on top of being like this tough sheriff and mother you know she's a hardcore vampire hunter and and um, so it, it it also could explain some of the distance between the mother and daughter relationship because there are secrets there that um, that her mother keeps from her in, in in I think attempt to protect her but it's really just driving them farther apart so it'll be interesting to see how that relationship grows um, you know, if Caroline and when Caroline were to find out that vampires do exist in Mystic Falls and that she's been dating one. I don't know exactly where Caroline and Damon's relationship is going to go. Um, I think that she's starting to realize that something's different about him. She, you know, she doesn't know that he's a vampire, but she knows that, you know, one, that he's not treating her the way that she wants to be treated. And, um, and also, too, there's just something something's off in the relationship. It's not, it's not the typical, you know, guy and girl not getting along in the relationship. There's something different, in which, you know, considering that he's manipulating her mind <laughs> every chance he gets, you know, she's not crazy. So she's just trying to figure out, you know, and remind herself that she's not crazy, that there is something more. Elena and Bonnie are finishing the dishes. Why don't you see if you can help? Does it look like I do dishes? <laughs> For me. I don't think so. Go see if Elena needs help in the kitchen. You know what? I'm gonna go see if Elena needs some help in the kitchen. Great. Oh, it's super fun to get mind compulsed, I guess, is the proper terminology. Um, yeah, and Ian Summerholder's just a blast to work with, so whenever we have those scenes, we, we usually get a couple good laughs out of them. Um, before we start focusing in, and um, but yeah, you know, any excuse to stare deeply into his eyes is uh, <laughs> is good by me. There's something with that necklace, and so and and Bonnie Bonnie's got a hold of it as of right now, and it's definitely gonna affect a lot of things that go on. Um, I just don't know how yet, and and I'm not even trying to be secretive. They just keep us that much <laughs> in the dark. Where my best friend um, actually took a vampire class, as an uh, extracurricular class at her school, and um, and what I found most interesting is that there are groups of people out there that feel that they are vampires, and so and one of the things they offered, like if you would like to donate blood, you know, after you've been tested. You know, so it's it's interesting to me just just um, this whole as one thing as a pop culture phenomenon, but you know there are people that live by and, and practice the the life of a vampire. So yeah, it's just it's very interesting out there. I learned a lot from her though, <laughs> just from listening to her talk about her class. When vampires originated way back in, or the thought of the vampire originated in Romania way back in the day, it's when it, it gets so cold outside and when your body, when the dead 
get so cold, there's sometimes happens where something happens where your body jerks up, and so they'd see these, you know, the dead move, so then it kind of as if they were still alive. And then they were vampires, I guess. I <laughs> something little that I remember for some reason. And it's very interesting. I was like, there's a whole class dedicated to vampires, and yeah, but she's got friends now that are taking it, and, they, and I've answered like questions for them about the show and stuff, but, but yeah, it's really, yeah, she, and she legitimately got to go and interview a vampire, you know, like a, a group of people that, that practice vampirism, and so, so yeah.